an old-fashioned business, a uh, confectionery, candy shop, ice cream parlor. A little bit of part of uh, Southern Indiana and Southern Indiana history, Kentuckiana. My husband is fourth generation, so that means his great-grandfather and grandfather started the business in 1891. Well, the family rented the, uh, the building in 1891. Right behind you on the wall is the original lease, uh, $300 a year. The family rented both the downstairs and the upstairs. It was just the front part of the building. The building was built right after the Civil War. There was a big building boom with all the Civil War soldiers coming back. It was built in somewhere in the 1870s, and we've been occupying it since 1891. We've changed you know, somewhat the focus of what it was in the, initially. It was always sweets and confections, and uh, you know, a confection was not only candy, it was a specialty. In the early days, we sold lemons, we sold fruit, pineapples, uh, uh, cigars, oysters, those were all specialty items, confections, so to speak. We're a destination. When my wife and I bought the business in 1990, it was, uh, the downtown was deteriorating the business. It wasn't much business, but we had the vision that we wanted to make it more of a, a tourist destination. People could come and watch us make candy. But sugar, corn syrup, water, and red coloring currently in there. We got 15 pounds of candy there and we cook it to 320 degrees. Well, it was always the Shimp's dream of being able to demonstrate candy making for the public, and for years this was impossible. The candy was all made in the back, but when we expanded uh, about 14 years ago into the building next door, it allowed, allowed us to uh, demonstrate candy making, so we have a long observation window and people watch us make on turn-of-the-century equipment. This is the cinnamon oil. We always say Johnny Cash made Ring of Fire popular. That's Shimp's Ring of Fire there, Cinnamon Fire. Now there aren't too many places in the country you can come and see hard candy made like we do it here. We have to get it to the right temperature. So it will go through the machine and press it into, in this case today, a little fish. My particular favorite is a vanilla cream a peanut cluster and dark chocolate, and uh, Warren's is English toffee. But uh, we have newer things. We now sell sea salt caramels and so forth. So it's a wide gamut of uh, hard candy chocolate items that uh, we make and that other manufacturers make as well. My favorite candy that I like to make, uh, in addition to eat, is the English toffee. I think we make some of the best English toffee you'll find any place. So. That's my favorite. Bourbon balls are kind of number two. I love making the Red Hot uh, Cinnamon. That's our most popular candy. I love making those and demonstrating to people. I, you know, for me, it's a joy every time I make it. That's why we call them drops. We have a museum here at Chimps. It's one of the few candy, candy museums in the United States, and uh, it's full gamut of tins and tubs and crates and barrels and jars and cardboard boxes and just about everything you'd think about when you think about candy and candy advertising. Well, we began collecting almost 50 years ago with one little piece of candy memorabilia that we found at the Sealbach Hotel gift shop and uh, continued collecting from there and it was it become, it's become kind of a, a mania for us, uh, uh, an addiction of collecting American candy memorabilia. We've had a soda fountain here since 1921, and according to Matilda Bushfield, who worked here as a 14-year-old and died several years ago as 100 years old, uh, she told us there was a, a soda fountain, a very simple soda fountain before that. So yes, it's become a, a mainstay of Shimps, and we enjoy it. We've become an attraction and uh, so people recognize the name. Uh, we've been in a lot of magazines and newspaper articles and modern marvels on TV and so forth. So we get bus tours and uh, school groups and scouts and it's become an attraction and we like that because we hope to introduce people to Jeffersonville's downtown and to Southern Indiana's hospitality. Mm -hmm.